Good morning. Well, this day our church remembers Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Should we start with song? We could do our Immaculate Mary. Immaculate Mary, your praises we say. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Well, we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we pause for a moment to call to mind any faults and ask the good Lord for his pardon, healing, and help. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In this, in the days of Asa, king of Judah, son of Jotam, son of Osea, Rizin, king of Aram, and Pika, king of Israel, son of Aramia, Rimalia, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the hearts of the king and the hearts of the people trembled as the trees of the forest trembled in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet us, you and your son, Sirius Hashub, at the end of the cold dwelt of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care, you remain tranquil, and do not fear. Let not your courage fail before these two stumps of the moldering brands, the blazing's anger of reason, and the Arminians, and of the son of Rimaria, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Remelia plots against you, saying, Let's go up and turn Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabul, king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram. And Rizin is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and the Rimalia son, the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Our response, 
God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of highest, is the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, the recess of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. For lo, the kings assemble, they came on together. They also see and at once are stunned, terrified, rooted. Quaking says them there, anguish like a woman's in labor, as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarsus. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, hardly not your hearts. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, Will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today the church remembers Our Lady of Mount Carmel. If you recall, Mount Carmel is the site where the prophet Elijah challenged the priests of the god of Baal to send fire from heaven to light their altars. After much prayer, the god Baal did not answer his priests, but Yahweh answered Elijah and set fire on the altar Elijah built and proved that Yahweh is the real god. So for many centuries after that incident, people who wanted a quiet place to pray and to live closely with God came to Mount Carmel. Eventually, the Carmelites built a large monastery there to honor the Mother of God. According to tradition, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to St. Simon, the superior of the Carmelite order, and gave him a scapular the scapular is a modified version of Mary's own garment. Like a long apron that is worn in the front and in the back, the many monks or that monks and uh, nuns wear, the scapular symbolizes her special protection and calls wearers to consecrate themselves to her in a special way. It is intended to remind us to reproduce in our lives the life of Christ and to show him to others. In our readings today, we are reminded that unless our faith is firm, our lives will not be firm. And once our faith is firm, we can then bring Christ into the world to be his hands, his heart, and work for peace and justice. As we will come shortly to the table of the Lord and receive Jesus in our hearts, 
May we ask God to strengthen our faith so may we may have the courage, as Mary did, to bear Christ into the world, willing to break God's kingdom of peace and justice and make that a reality in our world. Let us pray. Let us pray then that through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, we may stand firm in faith and bear Christ lovingly to our world. We pray to the Lord. May our leaders have the courage to fashion our world according to gospel values. We pray to the Lord. That peace and justice may become a reality in war-torn areas of our world. We pray to the Lord. That our young people may find Christ to be the answer to their heart's deepest longings. We pray to the Lord. For all who struggle this day, migrants, asylum seekers, the homeless, the sick, victims of war, that they may receive the grace and the help that they need, we pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of heaven, Helen Levine. So for her, for all who have died, and all who mourn the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. And for your intentions. For all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. God, you who have been our help in ages past, hear our prayers once again and in your goodness, grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. 
for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Helen Levine and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have Mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one faith together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. communion antiphon blessed is the womb of the virgin mary which bore the son of the eternal father let us pray as we receive this heavenly sacrament we beseech O lord your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the blessed virgin mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption 
through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Have a wonderful day, everyone.